There are Hollywood couples we wish got together, and those were happy stayed friends. But every once in a while, there comes a duo we can't decide on, like Julia Roberts and George Clooney. Roberts and Clooney both became household names in the 90s. Both actors rose to fame around the same time due to their connection to director Steven Soderbergh. According to the two stars, working with him elevated their statuses and reputations in Hollywood. We both had great changes in our careers and lives because of Steven Soderbergh, quite honestly. George told Vanity Fair in 2014 in a joint interview with Julia. In the late 80s, Roberts made her debut with Mystic Pizza and Steel Magnolias, but her real showstopper was using her contagious smile, becoming internationally recognizable and universally beloved in the rom-com Pretty Woman. If I go back to 90, it started the decade really nicely with Pretty Woman. This was her first of many romantic comedies. Her bright personality made Julia especially lovable to fans of the genre. In 2001, she won an Oscar for her dramatic role in Sonnenberg's Aaron Brockovich. Over the next few years, the actress went on to have several off-screen romances with co-stars such as Jason Patrick, Liam Neeson, and Matthew Perry. Roberts was quickly becoming a Hollywood legend, and Clooney was working his way up to stardom by working on television. In 1994, he began to run on ER as Dr. Doug Ross. This was the smallest part in the in the of the ensemble. I got to be just the, the guy that, that flirts with the girls, but also likes kids and saves kids. By 1999, Clooney was a bona fide movie star who had outgrown ER. But after the failure of Batman and Robin, in which he played Batman, the actor became more careful about choosing roles. His first film with Soderbergh, 1998's Out of Sight, co-starring Jennifer Lopez, would set the tone for the next decade of the star's film career. In the early years of their rising stardom, both Roberts and Clooney were known for their irresistible charm and their ability to have chemistry with anyone. But it wasn't until the two met and appeared on screen as romantic interests that the world realized the blessing that is George Clooney and Julia Roberts as friends. Julia had a complicated relationship with other celebrities, but this isn't the case with Hollywood prankster extraordinaire Clooney. I don't like to say that we're very much alike, but we do have the same, like... Beard. <laughs> The two actors say that they were aware of each other for years but didn't meet until 2000. This is when they had a meeting at the Chateau Marmont to discuss Ocean's Eleven with Soderbergh. I thought he's gonna be a pal. The 55-year-old told People Magazine about the first time she met the Gravity actor. I don't, I don't know, it just, I don't, from the moment we met, it just, you know, people go, oh, we just clicked and... Yeah. Because of their electrical energy in the 2001 comedic thriller film, people assumed that they were friends even longer than that. We've been long reported best friends, but had never met before. The Nothing Hill actress told Vanity Fair in 2014. Before the star cemented their friendship in tabloids and the press, many speculated that Roberts and Clooney had been romantically involved especially because of how well the two got along off-screen. Roberts and Clooney's obvious connection was a major talking point during the Ocean's Eleven press tour. In a recent interview with Access Hollywood, the Ocean's Eleven actors were asked if they ever had a no-dating policy to protect their working relationship. To not date each other? I don't think we needed to state it, Julia laughed. It seemed the right thing to do. They then jokingly flirted with each other, which made the Pretty Woman star mimic vomiting. Well, you don't have to react that bad, Clooney said. We, uh, Julia, and we, all of us were in, uh, we stayed at the, it was a Bellagio, I think. The in Bellagio, Vegas, gorgeous Vegas. hotel. And they it didn't was, know what hit them. It was literally like a we bunch arrived. of eight-year-olds yes. got, got yeah. in. But it hasn't all been sunshine and rainbows in this friendship. There's an unavoidable consequence to good acting. Being able to make a whole audience excited with a glance has its cost. And that is Romance Rumors. In June of 2001, the actress's three-plus-year relationship with actor Benjamin Bratt ended. An ABC News report stated that the romance ended due to Bratt's jealousy of Robert's relationship with Clooney. The tabs say that Bratt, 37, gave 33-year-old Julia the boot after hearing how chummy she had gotten with 40-year-old Clooney on the set of Ocean's Eleven. The same report said that Roberts and Clooney put on a steamy show on the dance floor at the Ocean's Eleven after-party. Even though the Eat, Pray, Love actress was heartbroken over the breakup with Bratt, she still managed to bounce back and find someone to expand her family with. Roberts met her husband, cinematographer Daniel Motor, while filming The Mexican in 2000. The life that I've built with my husband, the life that we've built with our children, and that's the best stuff, to come home at the end of the day 
triumphantly to them. They have three children together. Roberts' husband, Danny Motor, and I are great friends and love each other, Clooney said in an Access Hollywood TV show interview. What's fun is it's really like a family, he added. Throughout most of their relationship, the Batman lead remained a bachelor, with some girlfriends here and there. In 2013, George began dating humanitarian lawyer Amal Alamunin, and they married in 2014 and welcomed twins three years later. He is the person who has my complete admiration, and also the person whose smile makes me melt. That same year at the BAFTA Awards, Julia presented George with an honorary award and sang his praises. In his acceptance speech, George said, It's very hard for me to be just straight nice because she'll get me later. But she's just an amazing mother, an amazing wife, and a great, great friend. It's really an honor to have her here. The Golden Globe winners have worked together three times between 2002 and 2021, in 2002's Confessions of a Dangerous Mind, in Ocean's 12, and in 2016's Money Monster. Together, Julie Roberts and George Clooney can do anything, really. They can make us believe they're in love, they can have us on edge about a hostage situation, but their greatest gift is pretending to hate each other. This leads us to Ticket to Paradise. Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. Excuse me, ma'am, I need to sit somewhere else. In the film, the two play divorced parents who hate each other but are united in their hate for their daughter's fiancé. Other than seeing George and Julia's chemistry come to life once again, the most exciting part about the film is that it's the actress's return to the silver screen. Julia had taken a break from acting to focus on her family. The friends also said that they've been waiting for the right script and the right timing to do another film together. In a red carpet interview with Variety, Roberts described Ticket to Paradise as the first story that did something really clever. According to the actress, she and Clooney both received the scripts at the same time, and so it came into our energy together. And it sounds so silly to say, but I read it and I said, this only works with George. He felt the same way. The Mystic Pizza star said, the actor added that the characters' names were originally George and Julia. The Academy Awards winner hadn't done a romantic comedy since One Fine Day. He told The Times, I haven't succeeded like Julia has in that form. But I read it and I thought, well, if Jules is up for it, I think this could be fun. Clooney brought his wife, Amal Clooney, and their kids, Ella and Alexander, to Australia while filming Ticket to Paradise. Robert came alone and stayed in the house beneath them. She ended up spending a lot of time with the Clooney family. I said that like we live together. <laughs> we do live together, which is a very weird for my wife and Danny. The actress credited George and his family for saving her from, quote, complete loneliness and despair during the filming process. In an interview with the New York Times, Julia discussed quarantining with the Cloonies, saying, We were in a bubble, and it's the longest I've ever been away from my family. I don't think I've spent that much time by myself since I was 25. Robert's family eventually made it to Australia, but they had to fly into Sydney and quarantine for two weeks by themselves before she could see them. The crew started filming in Hamilton Island, an area filled with wild birds. The ER alum told the Times, I would come out in the early mornings and be like, caw, caw, and Julia would come out and be like, caw, caw, and then we'd bring down a cup of coffee. She was Aunt Juju to my kids, the fantastic Mr. Fox lead said in an interview with Stephen Colbert. Even though the two stars have sparkling chemistry when acting together, their friendship has made it difficult to play lovers after all these years. George and Julia have often described their relationship as that of a brother and sister. It was for the New York Times when they discussed their first on-screen kiss for the forthcoming movie. It reportedly took six months to get it right, according to the Batman star. Yeah, I told my wife, it took 80 takes, the actor told the publication. The reason George and Julia's friendship works well is the result of many factors. They just so happen to have similar personalities, similar careers at the same time, and the same sense of humor. Caitlin Deaver, the pair's on-screen daughter in Ticket to Paradise, told ET Online, Their friendship is something that's so sweet. They love making each other laugh, and it's the best thing to be around. Even though some secretly wish that George Clooney and Julia Roberts coupled up, we can't help but adore the playful relationship they have.